The death of Lance Corporal Nicky Mason must have really touched the school. It's more than touched the school, it's affected the whole community. Um, people either directly or indirectly knew Nicky or knew of Nicky. And um, even though he was in the army, he was out on active duty, um, one can't say you can't expect something to happen, but it is still, believe it or not, a total shock. And you're saying it's touched the community, in what way? This is a small um, community. We still call it Averley Village. It's probably not, but that's what people call it. And um, in so much as people also know each other. There are big family networks, friends, mm, social groups. groups. I have got teachers here whose children, two teachers whose children went to school with him. His um, half-sister left last year. Um, friends of the family in abundance have got children at the school and quite a few of our older pupils and ones who've just left knew him personally. We strangely enough had a reunion last uh, week ago on Saturday for his year group and Nicky had sent a text message along saying he wished he could be there but obviously he was on active service and couldn't be. Um, and then we didn't find out until the following morning what had happened to him. So, you know, presumably people were sitting, enjoying, drinking, remembering good old days. And there was Nikki in Afghanistan, hopefully not suffering, but um, near to the end. It's very, very tragic. And it made it more poignant having that um, reunion with his classmates, the class of, I think it was 1996. Um, having that massive reunion that was attended by over 100 ex-students and it, to wake up the next morning to hear such news, it really did make it rather more poignant. And what, what are the memories of, of Nicky Mason as a, a school pupil? <laughs> Nicky um, left here when he was 14, coming on 15. He, he's remembered as being, in the words of the two teachers I've spoken to who actually taught him, he's remembered as being the cheeky chappy. He was the Jack the Lad. I'd never say from all reports that he was a little goody two-shoes. He wasn't, but he wasn't malicious. He was a good lad at heart. And he did get up to a few tricks, but he was very well liked and he was never reprimanded by way of an exclusion. All of his antics were cheeky and totally, utterly non-malicious. So the army, as a, a young man like him and as a team player, would have been an ideal place for him? I would have been making of him in many ways because um, he was so lively and so extrovert and the discipline from the army probably would have done him a lot of good. Um, I certainly was surprised when I saw pictures of him recently. Some were showing him the ones that they've had on the internet and the remembrance sites. Some of them showed him as like a 14, 15 year old boy as we would remember him, still quite skinny and you know platinum blonde hair. And then the ones of later years showing him in the army a, a transformation. He, he looked, you know, like a, a really strong grown-up man and I'm sure the army experience contributed enormously to that.